Well, I got another project. I decided to do a short video on today, and got a set of blades that I was getting ready to sharpen to, to put on the uh, zero turn I've got, and I thought, well, I might as well clean these things up. So what I'm going to do for that is got my Milwaukee angle grinder here, and I've got what I call a Brillo pad on it. I don't know what they're, what they're really called, but they're these uh, synthetic pads that just screw on like that. And this is the coarsest one that I've got, I think. I don't know how coarse they make them. Anyway, I bought a whole pack of these on Amazon. I must have had a hundred of them for 15, 20 bucks, something like that. And they just go on like that. And they do a pretty darn good job of taking, taking stuff off like this it, without being a wire wheel. Plus it's a little easier and uh, do a pretty good job. So let's check it out. It's a good idea to keep the, the wheel going away from you to blow all that crap away from you if you're not breathing it any more than necessary. If I was doing this inside, I'd have a, a mask on. Might need to put a wire wheel on to get down and down in there, but that's not terribly critical. Love this Milwaukee angle grinder. I've actually bought one that's a, a straight. Uh, it's not that's not the right angle. It's just it's the same thing. It's just straight for cutoff stuff. So I've got cutoff wheels and whatnot for that. Nothing but heavy duty is what they say, you know. Nice day out here today. Finally. Finally, spring has sprung. By the way, I've got this on the lowest setting. I've got this on the number one setting, which I think is on this is zero to twelve thousand RPMs, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that's pretty well cleaned up. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm gonna not gonna polish it. That's for darn sure. But I got all the big shit off of there and all that rust. And I'll probably. Once they sharpen these, I'll probably coat them with a little bit of kerosene. A little bit of kerosene to keep them from rusting. So that's one. Got another one down here somewhere. A little juice to keep going here. There we go. We'll get a fresh one. We'll put a new one on there. There we go. There we go. We got these these three pretty well cleaned up, and I think I'll, I'll hit them a couple little spots here. But that's how these things clean up. I'm gonna go ahead and take these in and hit them a couple licks with a flap disc to sharpen them up, and we'll be good to go. We'll have an extra set. I've got my Bosch variable speed angle grinder. I've got it on middle setting three. Put a new flap disc on. So let's see what we do here. I think that'll work pretty good. I'll show you a little difference here. I don't know if you can see in the camera there or not. Oh, shoot. That one's on. You can see right here how when they grind these things, that's a pretty rough grind actually, versus where they're going to look here now. So that's a lot sharper. Now we've got to make sure we've got them in balance. This quarter inch bolt here. We get a better, slightly better reading. With that. That's pretty good. That's pretty close. So if they tip, if they tip way over one way or the other, you've got to take a little bit off the the opposite ends to balance them out. But we'll call that one good. It, a lot of players just hit iron off the tee at 16. They lay back and hit, you know, short irons in there rather than try to do what Keith Mitchell did. But if your partner's up there in good shape, we'll call that one good. Maybe it's worth the risk. 
fortunately, none of these blades had any big nicks in them, like hitting a rock or something like that. So if they did, I'd probably use a, a grinding disc to grind down a little bit, uh, a little bit more in it before I use this. Take that nick out. Didn't need to on these. Now some of you guys might be wondering, why is he using a Bosch angle grinder instead of a Milwaukee? Well. As we are up against the end of when I got this one, Milwaukee, as far as I know, didn't make a variable speed one. And I needed a fair variable speed to use this to uh, polish and edge granite. It's got to be a little bit slower. So that's why I have this one. Fuck. Got a little nick there, man. I have to put a glove on next time. Time. I know, I know. You're not supposed to drink beer while you're using power tools, but hey, it's Saturday afternoon. I'll just move my beer over here instead of putting all that grinding dust inside of it. There we go. Check this one out for. We welcome in those of you watching on Golf Channel, PGA Tour Live's coverage of the Zurich Classic of New Orleans. You're looking at Mark Leishman. Yeah, uh, we'll call that one good. I could probably take a little more off of this end. Maybe I'll do Cam that. Smith, early tie for the lead. Plus three conditions, tough to figure it all out. We'll call that good. Jeff Eisenberg. Hope that gives you an idea of how I clean up my lawnmower blades and sharpen them, whatever works for you, I guess. But anyway, don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit that subscribe button right down there, and uh, send me any comments. Other than safety first, probably should have had a glove on. Didn't make it too bad this time. So anyway, take care, stay tuned for the next video.